Supreme Court has declared on Thursday that it is unconstitutional for state governors to hold funds that are allocated for go local government administrations. The seven-man panel in the judgment delivered by Justice Emmanuel Ajim declared that the 774 local government councils in the country should manage their funds themselves. The Apex Court held that the power of the government is portioned into three arms of government, the federal, the state and the local government. Now, the court further declared that the state government has no power to appoint a caretaker committee and a local government council is only recognizable with the democratically elected government. These are the rulings of the Supreme Court yesterday. This has actually brought up a lot of reactions, both from the, the president, both from governors, Nigerians. A lot of people are for this particular ruling, while other people are against it. In fact, surprisingly, I didn't think I was going to see a report like that, but I actually saw a report of someone who was saying that this is, a, this is going to be a big problem. The government, the, the Supreme Court's ruling is going to cause issues in the state government. But let me get your thoughts on this one, uh, Dr. You see, our our constitution, pro Nigeria is a federalism. If we have to be pragmatic, Nigeria is a federalism. And in the constitution, 774 local governments are recognized. Just the same way, 36 states are recognized, including the federal, uh, 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 not including the, with the federal uh, capital 30, 37. So, Each of these tiers of government should be able to manage the resources, should be able to own, mine, manage the resources at their disposal. So we should be seeing a situation where if we have done a local government and Gokana local government, they should be able to appropriate the resources in their local government areas and pay tax to either the state government or the federal government. That is the rule of the game. But a situation where through the establishment of a joint account, the states are now becoming preponderant, preponderant managers of the local governments. Such a situation, I say, is unacceptable. So I am one of those who went to my Facebook account and hailed the judgment. Anybody who is against the judgment, of course, we know. Caretaker committees, we call them caretaker committee. A caretaker is not the real husband man. The real husband man is when you have a democratically elected local government ward chairman. But remember, there must be a transition period between the end of one administration and the beginning of another ward administration. And that is where the caretaker thing comes in. You cannot wish it away. So leave throw politics into the dustbin. That period when the tenure, my tenure ends mm. and the tenure of another person begins, somebody has to oversee that uh, period. Mm. Except that INEC will take it upon itself to say, okay, let us conduct elections three months before the end of the, the tenure of the previous administration. Then as soon as that administration ends, another local government chairman will be out sworn in with the supervisory ward councillors. So I held the judgment. I trust the, the uh, judgment of FAGBEM, the, uh, the, uh, the attorney general of the uh, federation, and it's one of the things I love. The next one I want to see is for him to really ensure that the judiciary is also what independent so that all these uh, market black market injunctions black market uh, 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 orders court orders and so on mm. so that contradictory judgments all these things when you contradict what a court of coordinate jurisdiction i am a high court you are a high court eh? i am a federal high court you are a federal high court i have given a, 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 a ruling on a subject and you will now go behind the rule because you have taken money all these things will stop. I think we are a growing democracy. And this is thumbs up to the, the, the Supreme Court of Nigeria. All right. I'm yeah. Sure. Let me uh, commend Mr. President for the courage to ensure that this process of court is being drived and uh, achieved. My last time we were in the studio here and on television, this program, and I said that the state governors need not to waste our resources going to have a meeting with the president to talk about the issue of local government uh, autonomy because if the if the federal government are saying that states should not have autonomy again the governors will not be happy and like doc said the local government is a recognized democratic thought tiers of government
that ought to have her autonomy. But now that it looks as if it must be nailed by a court to pronounce it, even when we know that it's the ideal thing, we say it's a lovely and a commendable judgment. And I want to appeal to uh, reverse people not to see this judgment as a political judgment. It's not. Because the, the, the feelings of most of our people right now is that, oh, maybe the FCT minister has influenced this judgment. It is for the good of Nigerians. The local government ought to have their autonomy. And besides, you know, uh, Doc, uh, you know, try to correct that impression. There is no vacancy when a presidential election is conducted. There is no vacancy when a governorship election is conducted. The same thing is all to be uh, applicable to the yes. local government. If it is within the range of three months, the, the uh, RISEC for River State should ensure that local government elections are conducted so that you have a transition process whereby after the election, you have a time for inauguration sworn in of the new local government chairman. So I want to plead with every governor in Nigeria not to see this judgment maybe as a new so we can, uh, facilitated the uh, uh, judgment, right. but let it be seen as something that will heal and grow our democracy. Oh. And my appeal okay. also to the local government chairman is not to usurp this right given to you. Because most of the times so why you see the issue of governors coming in is to checkmate these excesses of the uh, local government chairman. So it means that the, uh, the councillors, the, the legislative arm of the local government, ought to rise up to her responsibilities too and ensure that the local government chairman do the needful. So I hail the judgment and I commend the judgment. Okay, let's look at what changes this judgment will actually bring concerning Nigeria's democracy, Nigeria's economy. Let's look at the changes this will bring. First, you know, uh, grassroots democracy requires that Developing the rural areas should be the responsibility of somebody. Now, in Nigeria today, like the South-South, especially the oil-producing states, we receive a lot of derivation. But the communities are far flung. We know these local areas, not, you see no road, no water, no clean water, nothing. The question is, why are the governors receiving the derivation? You are receiving the derivations. This derivation is for the oil-producing world communities. Yet, there is no road to these communities producing oil. Yet, those in the rural areas do not have clean water to drink. They have no functional health uh, uh, institutions. Health care services are nil. Women who are pregnant will be in Bayesa now. Women who are pregnant in Southern Niger, so in some cases they have to pull, they have to take a canoe or an engine boat to Yenagua to be able to. So, these are the issues. It will, this judgment will bring about some measure of transparency in local government administration. The moment the local government chairman are held accountable, they know that, yes, I am now autonomous. Any money coming to me, there is no reference to the governor again. So if I don't develop my local government uh, uh, area, I will be held what? Responsible. It will lead to you know, the provision of social amenities roads, good roads, at least to the, to within the, uh, the budgetary confines of the local government areas. Employment today, in so many states, employment is just restricted to the state alone. Far be from it. The moment the local governments know that they are autonomous, they also have institutions. Go doctors uh, uh, retire, nurses also retire, workers also retire. They will now be in a position to recruit more workers. So it will also generate what? Employment. Right. And jobs. Mm. It will make the local economy more vibrant okay. than it is today, where everything is done in the state capital by the government.